Hey guys, so I want to introduce you to somebody very special. Uh, I want you to meet the Pepper Shack, which is my cabin. Um, and here she is. So, I've had a lot of people ask me, what is your morning routine like living in that tiny, tiny, tiny cabin without any running water and my primary heat source being wood, wood heat, wood stove. So, um, usually I stick to writing. <laughs> So don't get used to this, but uh, I thought I'd show you kind of some of the differences living in this cabin. Um, I don't have any cell service. Uh, like I said, no running water. Um, it's just a little bit different. I don't set any alarms. I wake up with the sun. Um, but aside from that, it's not too different. I thought I would give you a sneak peek. And to do that, we need to rewind to when I wake up. So I'll see you there. Good morning. <laughs> you know when you see other morning routine videos and the first scene you see is them just like yawning, waking up, and you're like, you know what? I know that you aren't just waking up, you had to go press record and then pretend to be waking up. So I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I woke up just a little bit ago and yeah, my morning is um, pretty easy. The first thing I do is just like stretch a little bit and then depending on how cold it is, I make a fire. So let me show you that. All right, so once that fire is going, I do one of three things, well, after I'm done cuddling with Lou anyways. Um, so either I will do some yoga, I will read a book, or I will sit and scroll on my phone for a little bit. Uh, typically, it's either scrolling on my phone or reading a book um, because the fire doesn't warm up the floor fast enough for me to do yoga, but um, you know, every now and then, every other day I do yoga. So next, I get ready for the day. I pick out what I want to wear, maybe do a little bit of makeup, maybe put my contacts in, maybe not, just depending on how I'm feeling. It is about 10 degrees right now. Um, so I pick out what I'm gonna wear based on the weather. Hey guys, okay, don't mind Lou. <laughs> You've probably seen him a lot in this video, but I'm about to go up, I say upstairs. Um, I really just mean up to my dad's cabin and or the outhouse which is all up the hill um, but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing because some of the ladies have asked me um, like outfit details when I post photos or little videos or whatever so um, the pants that I'm almost always always wearing are my Carhartts so these bad boys are my favorite they are the most comfortable pants um, a girl could ever own and ladies they have pockets. They have pockets everywhere. You can carry your hammer here. <laughs> um, no, but they're really comfortable. Um, I understand they're not the most flattering pants in the world. So if you're looking for some like good hiking pants, Prana makes really good, uh, like really nice and flattering and really comfortable pants. Um, I think I own three colors of the same pair of pants. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, jeans are always great, but pretty much if I'm up here, I will always be wearing my Carhartts. Um, and then I usually just wear like a tank top or a t-shirt, um, and then a sweater. I've had this sweater for like, who 10 years. So that's the thing. I'm all about buying like quality clothes that last a long time and then fixing them. So like, I know there's a couple holes from this little stinker um in this sweater <laughs> so it needs to be fixed but it is my favorite sweater and it's from brandy melville of all places um which i don't even know if brandy melville exists anymore 
Um, and then this jacket, I've had a few questions about this jacket. This is from uh, American Eagle, but it is only new to me. It is not new. I bought it at the thrift store, um, at Savers to be particular. So I love thrifting and I love, this was $9 and it's like super warm. Okay, anyways, getting off on a tangent. Uh, if you follow me, you probably know that I wear this hat or the tan version of it like every day. <laughs> They're the most comfortable, like, most flattering hats that I have. Um, I also have a wide brim hat that I wear, and in the summer, you're gonna... Okay, Lou, he's just ridiculous. He wants to say hi. Um, I also have a wide brim hat, and then I, in the summer, you'll see me wearing baseball caps, like, every day. So, uh, anyways, that's what I'm wearing, and let's go upstairs. Yes, by the way, this is my phone. Fancy, huh? Um... Yeah, all right, Lou, let's go. So the first thing I like to do is check the temperature. So we've got about 15 degrees maybe. And then, Mr. Lou and I, uh, we like to go upstairs. So, we are going to go upstairs and probably go to the outhouse first, uh, you know, take care of business, and then um, I think Dad is making breakfast. See you there. Say hi. Hi. All right, what are we making? What are we making? Well, what are you making? Eggs flambe. Oh. It's gonna be great. Yeah, that's so fancy. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm just gonna boil a couple eggs. Oh. Soft boiled eggs. That sounds pretty good. All right. All right, let's do it. So there you have it. After breakfast, we pretty much just start our day. You can hear Dad on the snowmobile right now, get into work. Um, yeah, so that is what a morning is like in the woods in the Boundary Water Canoe area. Bye guys.